Hey, Terry Alfosomir, let me ask you a question. Are you stuck in your comfort zone? Maybe at one time you had these, these thoughts, these hopes, these dreams, these aspirations, these things you wanted to accomplish. It'd be really cool if I could. But over time, life just seemed to get in the way. The busyness of everything else going on, these other priorities, and over time, all these hopes and aspirations just kind of faded out. And maybe you even tried to go for them at one point and you gave it a try and it didn't work. So you went back into your comfort zone or, or it became uncomfortable because there's things you had to do that you didn't like to do. So you went back into your comfort zone because, well, it's comfortable. There's a reason why we crave comfort. Maybe more than anything else, we crave comfort. Even if you're some crazy person like me, I love to go out in the middle of nowhere in the harshest conditions around in the world sometimes, and you might think, wow, that's really uncomfortable. Well, that's comfortable for me. That's my comfort zone. We all like to be in our, our comfort zone. But here's the problem. Interesting thing about cold and hypothermia, and I've been in a lot of conditions where that's happened or could happen. And the fascinating thing about when your body's starting to experience hypothermia is to begin with, you shiver. You've done that, right? Before you've gotten cold and you shiver. Well, that's actually a body response trying to create energy. It's creating that activity in your muscles to create energy, to create warmth. But if you don't get that warmth, your body stops shivering over time and over more time you just don't feel cold anymore and then you're actually comfortable and then you fall asleep and then you die well that's the exact same thing that happens with us in our comfort zone with our dreams and our hopes and aspirations the things that we wanted to accomplish over time, maybe we'll go for them a little bit, we shiver a little bit, so to speak, we create that action, that activity that could bring us forward, but it's still uncomfortable, so we go back into there. Or we try again, and we just didn't like it out there. It's cold out there. The conditions are harsh, so we go back into our comfort zone once again, and then over time, well, we get focused on these other things that go on in our life, and those dreams seem to fade, and we start feeling comfortable. Then we're not cold anymore. We don't have those dreams anymore. And then those dreams fall asleep within us and they die. Your comfort zone is where people and hopes and dreams go to die. You need to give it another try. I want you to remember this is what's going on. I want you to recognize what is happening to you. Just like when you're going through hypothermia, you've got to recognize, wait a minute, I'm falling asleep. I'm going to die. You've got to recognize that right now with your hopes and your dreams. You got to try that energy again. You got to shiver again. You got to get up and you've got to try to go for it again. You've got to get out of your comfort zone so you can live.